Hi, I'm Dick Stacy, an applications engineer on the wireless and low power charging group here at TI. Today, I'll demonstrate some of the low power wearable solutions developed for wireless power. I've got a tiny transmitter based on the BQ500212A EVM that's minimized for wearable type applications. And I've got a few receiver boards I'll show in very small form factors, showing a wireless power supply and full charging solutions. Starting with the Qi compliant BQ500212A EVM-520, we created a tiny transmitter, showing that the full transmitter solution can be no larger than a corresponding 30 millimeter diameter transmitter coil. This solution is compatible with the wireless power consortium Qi protocol. However, since it's not a standard size coil, it can't be certified. You can see here that a standard BQ51013B EVM-764 will run quite well on both a Qi compatible transmitter and the Qi compliant transmitter. Full design details of this Tiny TX can be found in the TI design section of TI.com. The Tiny TX can be found at TI.com slash tool slash TIDA-00334. Everything you need to duplicate this board is on the site, including schematics, bombs, test reports, and Gerber files. The receiver boards I'm about to show can also be found in the same area on TI.com. Now I'll show a great Qi compliant solution using the BQ51003 wireless receiver and the BQ25100 linear charger, which is optimized for low power charging and very accurate charge termination. This is the TIDA-00318. Using a source meter to emulate the battery, I've set the voltage to 3.8 volts, indicating I need a charge. As I add the RX coil to the TX, it powers up and starts charging the battery at about 135 milliamps. You can see that this 5 mm by 15 mm board works with either the Tiny TX or the standard EVM. Now I'll shift gears to a non chi solution with the 5.23 mm by 5.48 mm TIDA-00329 solution. This version uses the BQ51003 as a power supply. I'm using this USB hub with an LED string as my load. The system was, works with either the Tiny TX or the standard EVM. Moving to a board without the USB hub, you can see that at a 75 milliamp load, I've got a nice 5 volt output. Substituting a BQ51050B receiver and charger in one on the same PCB design, I can charge a battery at 75 milliamps. Thanks for your time. Visit us at ti.com slash wireless power or ti.com slash wearables. And don't forget to ask questions and get answers at the TI E2E forums. Thank you.